Good evening. Um, I just wanted to make a comment about today's events. Um, you know, you could sit there and you could do the crazy liberal, crazy Democrat thing. You can sit there on the other side and say this wouldn't be happening if Hillary won. But to be honest, it would happen either way because there is bad apples in each side. There are crazy people on both sides of the spectrum. There's just more crazy people, it seems, on the liberal side these days. Um, and as I listened to Dennis Michael Lynch, a couple of new people that I came across lately, and uh, and even another blogger that just is a blogger, uh, Deb, who does Deplorable Deb reporting for Basket, the people that need that we have to blame for what happened today are Hillary Clinton, Obama, Loretta Lynch, Bernie Sanders. You know he kind of came out and said, "I don't want this to happen," but he still is part of the resistance group. Um, there's a couple more people, and Maxine Waters. They're the ones to blame for what happened today at that baseball field where those people were practicing for the game. And violence isn't the answer. Trying to find a crime where there isn't isn't the answer. Work together with us, okay? And Nancy Pelosi, if you really want to see this president succeed, let his travel ban pass. This temporary travel ban pass. Encourage the places that are blocking it not to. We need it. It's not a Muslim ban. He didn't use the best wording. Yeah, he started out saying that, okay? Sometimes he doesn't use the best wording, all right? I'll admit it as a Trump supporter. He doesn't sometimes use the best wording, or sometimes he doesn't know how to, he, the way he speaks, people aren't getting, but we got what he meant. We knew he didn't mean ban some, the people themselves. But then again, Muslim ban I don't have nothing wrong with because you guys need to, Pelosi and all you guys need to read the Quran. It teaches violence. It teaches to kill. Kill the infidels, meaning non-believers. People who are not, doesn't believe in the Muslim faith are to be killed. So hence, as heartless as he, my categories, as heartless as it is, they can't come here. Now, if there's some Middle Eastern descent people who came here who are Christians, welcome. But I'm sorry. I don't want somebody in here whose religion teaches violence and pedophilia. I, I don't want it. And a lot of us American people don't want it. So, it is what it is, and that's just the way it is, and that we don't want it. It's it's There's no... Happy medium, there's no let's co uh, make a happy compromise. No. When they teach evil and killing and pedophilia, no go. They don't, they don't need to be here. When they say women are objects, not people, they don't need to be here. So, stop working against us and work with us. And to all you people who are gay, L the LBG community, LBGT community who are against Trump, just know the people you are sitting there loving and wanting to come in will behead you the second they get. Okay? They will behead you. And no one tries to not almost, yes, they are. They are told to stay quiet, be friendly, hide, uh, be actors until the time is right. So, I'm sorry, I don't care. A lot of my friends that were of that descent, of that descent, but were of that ideology, we're not friends no more. And it's not because I didn't like their religion; they didn't want to be friends with me as the years got went by. Nothing I said, I didn't, I didn't disrespect them. I wasn't this vocal. They just stopped being friends with me. So that tells you right there, I did nothing wrong. I never offended them. I never said anything bad about them. I never. 
I know they're on Facebook, so I avoided sharing stuff that I believed to be true. I respected them. And I still was unfriended. So, that tells you, it doesn't matter. They're here to deceive us, so they need to go. Simple. They don't need to come in. None of them need to come in. And we need the wall. So, you, we need to start working together. It, the, the, and Hillary and Obama, you guys need to come out. And you need to really, really stop this resistance thing. Because at the end of the day, you guys are going to destroy America. And there's going to be a no America for you guys to save. It will be gone. It will be done. There will be nothing for you to do. Nothing for you to run. Nothing you do for you to be ahead of. Nothing for you to make money off of. The, the dollar will be gone. Nothing will be. You will, you, it will be rubble. There will be nothing you could run. You guys will be broke too. You are affecting yourselves. Destroying America, you're destroying yourselves. So, we need to work together. And I hope there's no civil war, but it looks like this is the beginning. It, it might as well be. And it might be. I hope not. I pray I pray to God it's not. But I would just be uh, uh, cautious, observant. And, uh... Yeah. You guys need to call on your supporters to calm down and stop this resistance stuff. That's not what America's about. America's about uniting, not dividing. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. So, I'm not here to say there's no hope for the liberals and Democrats. There's a lot of people who believe that there is no hope. I believe there is hope. Maybe not for the older ones, but for definitely the up-and-coming ones, there's hope. But we just need to come together. Simple, simple, simple. Sometimes people say easier said than done, but you need to put what you think is right behind you like the rest of us did for eight years. And we just sucked it up and we all worked together. We may not have liked what was going on, but we knew we'll get them next election. So instead... Of big whiny babies because you're doing yourself a whole you're assuring Trump eight more years. So if you want any a chance to get any type of leadership back, you guys, Dems and Libs, you need to work with us. Get our trust back. It's gonna take a long time. It's it's gonna take longer than eight years. You guys I don't see Dem a democratic uh, presidential leader anytime soon at least I'll fi probably finish my 30s without seeing one so you guys dug this hole but we're not gonna let you divide the United States if you guys want to get step step away from it you guys can leave but uh, us people who believe in America and believe in the United States and believe in the traditions are gonna fight for this country and you're gonna wish you never came up against the against uh, our spirit and the way we love our country. So, if you love your love our love this country like we do, you need to prove it and start working with us instead of against us. So, until Roxy speaks her mind again, much love.